channel and welcome to the most exciting video on my channel to date so in today's video we're going to be doing a christmas house tour i asked over on my community post whether you would like to see this because obviously i've done clean and decorates with me i've done three parts and um, so i've done the kids bedrooms the main downstairs and the outside so if you did want to check out any of those videos go ahead but I thought it was a really nice idea to go around the house and actually see everything in one video. So that's what I'm doing today. So I'm so excited because I've never done a house tour before and it is only a Christmas house tour. So I will be doing a full proper house tour once I finish getting all the furniture, putting all the final touches together and I'll probably be doing that early next year. So yeah, but this is so exciting because I'm doing a Christmas house tour. So let's have a look around my house and see what I have decorated for Christmas. Okay, so first of all, I've got my wreath on the door here and I've got the red bow with this wreath. I got seven times, it was £7.99 from Home Bargains and it was a literal bargain. And obviously, if you would have seen my outside, you would know that they've got these garlands on. And these little trees I get asked about all the time and they're from the range. And I can confirm that that uh, Christmas mat was a pound. So then when you walk through the door, here's my wreath. And it goes with the theme and you've got my gorgeous garlands that go up the stairs with the red bows. So I got these garlands from Amazon. I will leave them linked below. But if you, un if you can see the theme that I was going for with the wreath continuing up when you open the door, it just looks so nice. So yeah, love how I did that. Stairs here, which is again, the beautiful garland, look how gorgeous. First door in front of you is actually the downstairs toilet. So this is the downstairs toilet. These prints, they're not prints, these paintings here was actually painted by me. I did a DIY on my channel. I'll leave it linked below, because um, a lot of people asked me about this video that I did. So yeah, I painted those myself. It's really, really easy, honestly. Then in, in this downstairs toilet, I've got my nutcracker. I got this nutcracker from B&M a few years ago. So I just thought it was really nice to put it in the downstairs toilet. And then I got my pampas grass that I had out for autumn. I also got that in, from Amazon as well. And yeah, that's my bathroom, my toilet, sorry. And here is my toilet roll and basket. So I made this. If you remember, if you're an OG, I made this. Um, Why well, didn't make it? I upcycled it from the charity shop, but I just love that basket. I do love a good toilet roll basket, I've got to say. So that's my downstairs toilet, and I've just got one Christmas decoration in here. The hallway next to the door, I've got my radiator cover. I've got this mirror, which I got from BM a few years ago now. And then coming down, we have got my Christmas candle, which I've I got from B and M, and it is really beautiful. It's like four pounds, but it's so stunning. So I love that. I got this lantern from the range in the summer, and it just makes it look a little bit cozy down here when it's on at night. It's really nice. And this Santa I got from B and M again a few years ago, but they always do things like that. And my radiator cover, as I get asked a lot of questions about these. I got it from Amazon, my one, but you can get them from eBay or Amazon. And I will leave them linked below if you want the exact one that I got. But they are also really easy to build, by the way. So that's my little hallway when you first walk in. And then to my left, so when you've got the, you've got the hallway bit here, and to my left, you come through into the kitchen kitchen slash dining and yes these are my bows i got these from home bargains and i just love how they look on the chair and these chair covers i get asked a lot of questions about as well i got them from amazon and they were like a pack of four for like 20 pounds or something because underneath these chairs i have faux leather and they're literally ruined from my cat because he scratched them so i've had to use covers for the time being but I just love the bows on here and I attached them a lot of questions on I attached them with ribbon but I also glued the ends of the bows to the ribbon because I just thought I could use these every year could just pull them off the cover and use them 
And yeah, it stays right because if you don't, then they flap a bit and I didn't want that to happen. So I have set up the table a little bit Christmassy just for you. So no, I didn't really. Well, I did. Um, of course I did. But um, I was just playing around with it because I thought, how am I going to dress this table for Christmas? So I'm actually going to have a big tablecloth, um, like a white one. And then I just thought I'd have like table runner and all glitz and stuff like that. I've got my little berries from Poundland. So they're a pack of, a few of them. I think you get a pack of four or five of those for a pound. And they just uh, add a little touch. And this material here is really probably quite good for Christmas trees and decorating. I got them from the range. They were like £3.69 a roll. But they're not as easy as it would be with deco mesh for the Christmas tree and stuff, just to let you know. So I got these charger plates as well from Wilco's. I got them last year, but I'm going to need to get a couple more because my mum and dad are actually coming for Christmas this year. Um, how nice is that, that we actually get to see family, by the way. But um, yeah, they, they were already going to be the ones coming and I'm just so glad they can come. So I'm going to get two more chairs and I'm also going to get more charger plates and stuff. And I've just put random plates here because I haven't got a set and I need a set. But I think I'm just going to get a white set like this. These little star... Um, bowls. I got these from B&M. They were like £2.50 each. You may have already seen these in my hamper ideas video. Um, but yeah, I just, they're so white company vibes and they're just lovely. And I just thought for like snacks or sauces or anything like that, I just thought it was really cute. And then this centerpiece that I made, well, I didn't make it, but the candle holder thing, I got that from the range. A lot of people asked me where I got that from. So I got it from the range and then I've just filled it up with baubles and picks to make it like a Christmas centerpiece. And I don't have a bow on that chair because I used the bow for the Christmas tree because I only bought four and now I can't get the bows again. So it doesn't matter because I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon around it to make it look like there is one there and then I'm just not because no one's going to see that. So it doesn't really matter. So that's my dining room table. Just playing around with that to see how I'm going to decorate it for Christmas. So there are my bows. Love that. Over here is my kitchen. And you may have said this plenty of times in my cleaning videos. So this is what I just done. I just made a flower arrangement, put some berries in and some picks. And that's how I've made it Christmassy. Um, I always put something on my hob, um, seasonal. Um, I just think it looks really nice. It is annoying though because you have to take it off every time you cook. It can be annoying, but it looks pretty when it's tidy. So I've got my little um, Christmassy cloths in there as well, you know, as you do. I don't have anything here this time because I wanted to keep it quite simple. But, um, yeah. Around here, so that is my fridge freezer, by the way. Around here, this is my utility room. And that's my little sign that you may have seen in my hamper video. I do have one as well. They're only like one ninety nine, And I just think they're so cute. Look, just hang them on the door. Sparkle with all your heart. See, I just think that's beautiful. So utility room we don't need to see in this house tour because it is Christmassy and there's nothing Christmassy in there and also there's a hell of a lot of washing in there. We can look at that in the cleaning video but that is where it is from my kitchen. So my kitchen goes there and then that's the utility. Also my clock I get a lot of questions about. I got that from B&M quite a while ago and this is the overview from here. This is the, the material I've been using because I haven't finished yet. I just wanted to have a go at it. I need to cut it. Um... But yeah, that's my dining room bit. Then coming back through, this is like the hallway. And then to the right is my beautiful Christmas tree in all its glory. I am so happy with this Christmas tree, honestly. And this is my living room. So I've put on the lights for you. This is what it looks like when you first come into the living room. So I'm gonna start with my rug is from Wayfair. A lot of questions about that. So that's where that's from. And then going up here, these are my Poundland mirrors that you can see my Christmas tree. I absolutely love that. Um, they were £5 each from Poundland if you missed my vlog when I spoke about those. And my sofas are from Sophology. I get a lot of questions about those too. Now for the main event, my Christmas tree. So again, this is the bow that you see on the chairs. That is from Home Bargains. And then I just put loads of picks, which I got from Wilco's and The Range. And then we've got my Deco Mesh. So my deco mesh, I will link below. I did get it off of Amazon, but I used one whole roll for this entire tree and it just makes it look so much fuller. I absolutely love this, how I've done this this year. And I've got the feather boas from Poundland going through the tree. Now, one of my favorite decorations has got to be these ice skates. I've got two of them and I got them from Tesco's a couple of years ago, but I have them on every year. They're just beautiful. I love 
big decorations on a tree because I just think they stand out more and it just means you need to use less. I just love that. This is the ribbons that are done. Again, use the wired ribbons. I've said this a few times. It's so much easier to deal with and I've just cut bits off and put, like fed them through. And then these reindeer stag heads, I have got a lot of questions about. I did get them from Walkos a long time ago. They were free for £10, but they don't do them in Walkos, I don't think, anymore. But they do do them in Matalan. They're £5 each. So, yeah, they're, they're in Matalan. Um, and then I've got these picks here, a lot of questions about. Again, these are from the range. They were like £1 something, like £1.29 or £1.69. Really cheap anyway. You come down here, I've just put this fur throw thing that I got from Primark. And I've put some like blankets and stuff to make it like a big snow scene and these here are my little musical reindeer and train i got these from b&m last year or i've got one of them the year before and one last year but they still sell them they're like a tenner each they're really good but they light up and they play music so i just thought that it was just so cool and it's just winter wonderland which i love this big bubble here i got from all ball sorry i got from poundland so that's a little bit of my tree. So this comes with the sofa set and it's from Sophology. Just don't mind my slippers and don't worry about my garden, it's a mess. But these curtains I got from the range because people asked me that as well. And I've actually tied them back for the first time, which I absolutely love. And what I've done is I've put little reindeers that are meant to go on the tree. I got these from Asda and they're just so cool. I just thought I'd use them as tie backs to make it Christmassy. So, and then I love a blanket. I love a white blanket because it just stands out and makes it feel so cozy. And it goes with the rug and everything. But I got this from Primark ages ago. So these are my curtains or my boils, should I say. I've got a little sign there from Poundland. Look in my shed. Can you see my Christmas tree box? That's how messy that shed is. It needs to be sorted, but don't worry about that. We'll just ignore that. So this is a little sign from Poundland. It does light up, but I haven't um, put batteries in it yet. And also I've just got a really basic um, lamp there just because. So this is Harrison's corner, as you can see. It's a mess. And Jonathan's corner, so don't worry about that. And I've got all of this flower arrangement and vase from Dunelm which I love. I've got my bedside table down here because it was a tall table. I couldn't, it was quite, I found it hard to find a tall table for this corner because you need it to be tall. This is my projector, which does snowflakes. A lot of questions about this. I will leave one linked below, but I see one in Asda um, yesterday. Um, so they do have these in Asda as well, just to let you know, because a lot of questions of where they're from. And I'll show you it on the wall in a second. And then these are my mirrors. And then that is the snowflakes on the wall. And it looks so cozy at night. Honestly, they're not expensive. They're like 10, 15 pound or something, I think. And it just is such a good effect. I absolutely love it. So it, I bought it years ago, but I just love how it looks. And then coming down to my fireplace. Um, so I've got these candlesticks I got from the range. They were £6.99 each. And then I've got these bows on them. And then this is my garland. I will leave it linked below. And the bows are from Wilco's. And then I've just put a few things in into the garland. So I've just done these stockings. And I got this idea. So first of all, let me talk about this. So I got these from Pine Bargains. They were £4.99 each. And I won't be using this cupboard anytime soon. So I just put it on one cupboard because it's covering it. So these stockings here, I got these from B&M, the actual stockings, and the light up letters, initials, I got from Asda, they were £3 each, and so was the stockings, they were £3 each too, and I got one for Isabella and Harrison, and I actually got this idea from B and Mrs Dudley, so I got this idea from Juliet, and she was doing a haul, and she was she got that exact one that I'd already had, this this um, stocking, and she said about an eye, funny enough, which is exactly what I needed to do, but um she gave me the idea to put an initial sort of decoration on it or something like that. But when I saw these in Asda, the light up ones, I just thought, yes, I want to be, them to be lit up. So I've literally just stuck them. I mean, Harrison's been playing around with this now. But <laughs> I just, that it is actually normally much better than that. But I stuck the tie bit up the top because obviously these are light up ones. So you can't really stick them on because then you can't turn it on or off. You could probably stick the top bit, but I just wouldn't recommend it. So I've just stuck them to hang because they're light up ones. But I just love how they look. How cute are they? 
So that is my TV area, which honestly is so cozy at night time, and my tree. So there is the front room to the right, and then you come out and you're back in the hallway, and I've got my garland that goes up the stairs, which, oh, it's just beautiful. I've got two garlands on here, and I've got some wired lights, which I had to do double the amount, like as, as in I used one, but I had to go down one, and if that makes any sense, I know what I mean. So it's really good value for them wired lights, by the way. So yeah, I've got that going up the stairs. So let's have a look. Then I've got, on the right side, I've put another bit of garland. I just cut it and some lights from Poundland on this side. And I put another bow there, just for it goes with the theme. And then I've got a radiator cover up the top. I've got this like lights garland thing here. I'm not sure about how this area is looking because I really need mirrors or something that there. But like I said, this house isn't actually finished. This is just what it looks like for Christmas. So I put that Christmas tree there for now and a red nutcracker because I wanted something red that goes with the stairs, you know, like with the red bows. And I've got those lights there. So that's okay for now, but I think I want to do something different there because it just looks a bit like blank. And I also do have a little star tea light holder, which I got out of um, Asda, they're a pound. And then moving on over to my right, I do have these beautiful lanterns. I've been wanting these white lanterns for such a long time. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy some lanterns that I actually want to use in my house all year round and then just dress them up for Christmas. And I just thought that's such a good idea because then I'm spending less money on just Christmas stuff. If that makes any sense? So I put one of my bows there. I will link these below. I got these from Amazon as well, but I'll link the ones I got below. And yeah, they just look really, really cozy. And these are the battery operated lights. And I got this, so I got this lantern from the range and then I, and that was $22.99. And then I got this one from B&M, which was £6.99. And I just think they look so cool together. So yeah. Then moving from the lanterns, we've got the main bathroom here. And I've just put a little white towel there and decorated it for, quite a good idea for guests really if you've got any guests and stuff it just looks cool so I put some ribbon and one of them pound lamp picks on it and it just looks pretty so let's be honest that is a show towel so it's not to be used but yeah then I've got my toilet roll holder th um, thing here with the toilet rolls and my basket I love a toilet roll basket I don't know why when you come in um just ignore ignore all this mess I've got to sort this out properly yet and I've also got to do something that mirror but I quite like it there to be fair um, I did have it up against the window and somebody said, do not do that, you know, because of the sun. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad you told me that because it could have smashed. Um, I need to get a, a soap dispenser in that for up here. I'm going to use them pound and ones that I've got out of the, um, for my hamper video. So I'm going to go and get some of those. And then the only Christmassy thing I've done in here, so that's just Harrison toys and that. But the only Christmassy thing I've done in here is on my bath tray, I've put, one of them little star tea light holders, which I need to put a candle in. And then I've got a little flannel, um, and then I just put, I tied it up and put, I rolled it up, and put one of them picks, um, which I think is beautiful, and it was only a pound this pick. Got that out of Asda too. And then I've got my apple spiced really diffuser also out of Asda. So yeah, um, I haven't put the shower back up, but yeah, never mind. So that is my little Christmas spay in my bathroom. And then when you come out of the bathroom, you go into my bedroom. See this fan? Just ignore it because Jonathan always has a fan all year round. Um, don't ask why, but he does. So I'm just going to leave it there now because he keeps putting it back anyway. So I'll leave it. But this is my bed. I got this bed from Furniture 123. A lot of people ask me and it is an Ottoman bed and I've got it in a king size. It was a really good price actually. It took me ages to find a bed because I'm quite indecisive. But I've got... All I've done in here, it's very simple for Christmas. I've not gone all my out because I like it to be quite calm in here because this is where I sleep. And I've got this throw here, which does have, I don't know if you can see, but it has like silver shimmer uh, flex through it. And I got this from the range. So I just thought I will use this all year round. It's not just for Christmas um, because... I say all year round, well, I would use it all year round, but it's quite nice to have like a winter throw. Yeah, I've got that in white, as you know, I like white interiors. I was going to get a cushion for here, but I just haven't found one that I like. And also, that's my other bedside table. So I'm actually going to get new ones. So this whole room needs to be done. I need to put things here. I need to put light fittings up. I've got so much to do in here, but I just 
haven't done it yet and I will get around to it. So in my next house tour, you will see it all done basically in the way I want it. So I will have matching bedside tables again because this is just my side table from downstairs. And on that note, talking about down here, I've got this little Christmas tree um, and I decorated that. And all I, the other, only other thing I've got in here for Christmas E, but I think I'm gonna leave this all year round, is my little fairy lights up the top and it just looks so cozy. So on this side of the room, ignore that little junk corner. I say junk corner, that's Jonathan's old Mac. Um, it's really old that, and it is junk at the side of it. But that is my wardrobe. I got that from Ikea, it's at Ikea Pax. I am considering what I'm still doing with this area because if you remember, I had a big issue with this whole area for a wardrobe. But yeah, I also want to get a bigger mirror here. This is just temporary and this was in Isabella's room. But I'm going to get a massive mirror there, I think. And then I've just been doing so much more to this room and I want to get some voils up here. So I do want to put curtains. And talking about my blinds, my blinds are from Make My Blinds. A lot of people ask me that question. I've got these all the way through the house. So I thought I would just tell you that. So this is my bedroom. And then going back out, this is just my, don't worry about that. Going back out here, there is the lanterns and it just looks so nice from this angle as well. So see how Christmassy that looks. I just love it. So now going into Harrison's room, we've got the little jingle bells thing here. Had that for a while, just put it on the door. And then we've got his Christmas tree. So this is Harrison's Christmas tree. I wanted to make it really, really fun. So I've got like candy cane, childlike theme. I got this ribbon from um, Amazon, but I think it's out of stock at the moment. I'll have a check. But yeah, I did that in my decorative me. So you would have seen me do that. And yeah, I've got a little reindeer here for him. Just a little random Christmas tree there. This little Santa's workshop, little mini house thing is from Pound Lamb. And I just think it is so cute. Like, look how cute that is. And then he's got a little countdown, which actually it's less than 42 days now, but never mind. And then he's got a little nutcracker. Um, on his wardrobe, he did have two of these, if you would have seen in the decor of me, but the little ribbons come off of it, and I don't know what he's done with it. So he did have another one there. But these are from Poundland, and they're just really cool. I just loved these. And then he's got two little nut nutcrackers here from Poundland. So I just think they're so good for a pound. Like, how good are they? Put in a kid's room. I thought they were brilliant. Then up there he's got my Santa in the sleigh, which, funny story about that, I got that for a pound in B&M. It wasn't meant to be a pound. It was um, meant to be a lot more than that, but it, they scanned it at a pound, and I was like, wow, that was a bargain. And then over here we've got his Christmas bedding. I say Christmas bedding. He's, he's got his bedding with a cushion. Um, so I just put white bed in with a red pillowcase, and this is also a red pillowcase, by the way. And yes, it does need ironing, but I'm not really bothered. Um, it, I haven't got him a blanket yet. I wanted to get him a red blanket for here, but I just loved how that looked with his teddy bear that stays there. But yeah, I loved how Christmassy but nice and fresh that looked. Um, so yeah, that's his little, and this nutcracker cushion is from Asda. So then moving on into Isabella's bedroom, we've got her tree here, which we got this bow from Wilco's and I just wanted to make it very like, again, candy cane theme, but pink and white. And this tree is from Argos. It's got like um, iridescent, is it iridescent? Like it's got pastel colors in the lights. So it's already a lit up tree. I got this, which is my favorite decoration I bought this year from Asda, and it's just so cool. I just love it. It's a pink camera. It's just so fitting for me. I just love it. So then we've got the fur rug thing, like fro I got from Primark, and this is the toy box, Isabella's toy box. So actually, I get a lot of questions about, but it was handmade by Isabella's granddad. So he's really good at stuff like that. But we wanted a really big one. She got it when she was like two. And I just need to repaint it because it's gone a bit off white, like the colouring's gone off. But um, obviously we've had it for years and he is really good at stuff like this. And we just wanted a really big, sturdy toy box. So yeah, he's done that for Isabella. Then we've got this Santa, which I got this year from B&M. Love that. Got the stag from Home Bargains. Again, it's cute. And we've got a gingerbread house from Poundland. 
And this little gonk is also from Poundland. It was like three pounds. So yeah, I really wanted the gonk this year. And I got that one for Isabella. Over here, her Christmas bedding I got from Asda. Um, and we just used her cushions that she normally has. Because again, I couldn't find many cushions this year for Christmas that I really liked. And then moving over here, this um, I get asked a lot of questions about as well. Her dressing table. Her dressing table is from eBay. It was a really good price. It was like $69.99 or something. And um, yeah, it comes with a stool, but her stool broke. So we had to put this stool, which I upcycled a long time ago. I got this from Ikea, this actual stool, but then I put a cushion on it, you know, all of that. So yeah, um, good idea for Christmas. She got this for last her last Christmas present, by the way, because we were moving into this house. So my mum got her this. And um, yeah, it's really nice actually. Good and really affordable. Then over here we've got her nutcracker. I've got a rose gold nutcracker from b and We've got a little star. We've got little trees from Poundland and little Poundland lights. And then I've put a radiator cover in here again. I also get a lot of questions about her um, wardrobe and drawers. I got it from Very and it also came with a bedside table now the mirrors on it are not proper mirrors they're like acrylic um so they're not proper but they're that I think they're good and they're effective I wanted them to be sort of like this and they wasn't that expensive so yeah um the drawers have been a bit of an issue a couple of times but other than that it's fine it might be the way she opens the drawers I don't know but it's not the best of quality but I do it gives me the effect that I was looking for um so yeah so this is Isabella's bedroom. Now, when you come out of Isabella's bedroom and you come to here, this is the view. So I absolutely love that upstairs, the landing is like this, that it goes that way and around. I just, it's one thing we liked when we was looking at this house. So yeah, I've got loads to do up here, decor wise, like mirrors and stuff like that. But for this is how it's looking for Christmas, which I'm quite happy with. Um, so. From this angle, you can see my bedroom through there. So that looks so cozy right now, I just want to get in bed, but yeah. Um, then we've got the bathroom and these are the stairs with the, with the garlands. And this is my lantern situation. And then this is Isabella's bedroom. And then obviously that's Harrison's bedroom. So it goes like that. So yeah. Love that. And I just love, absolutely love these garlands. I'm so happy I've done that this year. So that was my Christmas house tour. I hope that you liked it. If you're new, make sure you subscribe because like I said, I do cleaning and motivational videos. We do a lot of interior stuff and I'll be doing my house up a lot more and then doing an actual big house tour. So if you're at any point, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye! Making our Christmas memories.